welcome back to my channel my name is Jade and I help people reclaim back their power physically mentally and spiritually now today we're going to be talking about quite a controversial topic especially in the new age and spiritual communities and that is curses and hexes seven signs to look out for to see if you have been hexed or cursed now curses and hexes are certainly real and many people kind of have this fluffy belief that they don't exist but it's quite i see that as a lack of education within occultism and how energy actually works because what is a curse basically a curse and a hex it can be given to you at any moment from someone or some sort of entity or thing um, in your present day life or it can actually be generational curses so there's many different types and they can be quite mild just in a form of a psychic attack from someone who hates you who's directed energy negative energy to you or it can be really severe where it can be full-on black magic now to shun the existence of curses and hexes is to shun the existence of negative energy essentially and for many 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 years for centuries probably since the dawn of time people have always done black magic okay black magic is real it's very rampant um especially in countries i mean i went to bali and i met a lovely balinese priest who <laughs> used to go around having to heal so many people for free um from black magic because it is rampant in bali believe it or not you wouldn't think it going there but there was a lot of people who and he would say to me it mainly comes from um, jealous people if someone has like a really good business or a really beautiful family blah 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 they'll get jealous and then they will do um, lots of black magic to ruin their lives it's very petty it's very superficial but fortunately most of the time the monsters are humans um, who send you psychic attacks okay so this is this can come in the form of evil eye as well and evil eye is like um it could be anywhere especially nowadays with our techno technology of social media if you say are very successful very beautiful um or you post a lot of pictures of you and your boyfriend or whatever you seem to have a very you know loving timeline that people will be envious of unfortunately not everyone will be happy for you and you will get people who can become like you know haters trolls they every time that they're thinking bad of you that is like a very mild form of a hex because that is their negative energy being connected to you and then it's sending it your way so most of the time if you're in a high vibration that won't affect you but there is definitely um <laughs> when someone does a full-on ritual or full-on curse uh, or if it's a generational curse which is probably the worst um it can be really bad so it can range a lot but so that's a disclaimer and this is not anything to do with shadow work as i'll explain and the symptoms and signs to look out for um but this is probably matches more towards a present day curse so something that has happened to you in this present day not so much a generational curse however these signs will be linked to that as well i'll probably do a separate video on that as that's a bit more complicated but these are the general signs to look out for. And of course, if you do match one or a few of these signs, it doesn't mean that you're 100% cursed or hexed. Um, but I'll explain what to do anyway, in case you're worried that you are. Um, so here we go. So number one is severe bad luck. And I mean severe bad luck. That's come out of nowhere. It's very random and it's consistent. It's almost, it's very linear so this happened to me this is why i know so much about it and in my circumstances i was very happy i'd done a lot of shadow work i've been through a lot but in my life for a good few years nothing was wrong it was very calm pleasant neutral you had your you know normal problems of life but nothing crazy um it's a different energy but you will be hit with this negative energy that almost feels like you've been hit by a fucking train <laughs> excuse my french and it's like no matter what you do nothing goes right 
nothing goes your way any sort of venture you try to do so this will be in all aspects of your life so health money um, finances even <laughs> little challenges like anything you try to put your mind to um, or try to accomplish it will not go right so it will be very unusual bad luck, almost paranormal bad luck and just weird, it will be weird consequences, it will be very weird things that happen. So if you are normally a kind of optimistic, carefree, you know, normal, neutral sort of person um, and you're not pessimistic, you're not someone who's always very negative so you keep attracting negative things into your life but you're, you've just been hit with severe bad luck in like all random weird sort of, you know, situations that just don't make sense, um, then that is a surefire sign. Now, number two is deaths within the family. Now, and sickness. So this can be people who you love. This also includes pets. This can also include close friends anything that you show a bond with that you basically love and you care about <laughs> greatly um, will be affected and again this happened with myself um, within a span of two years probably less a year and a half i had three pets die um, and i had my own mother nearly die in hospital and she developed a tumor in her spine um, and she nearly lost the ability to walk um, luckily she's okay now I mean she's went through absolute hell um, but these things it all came very sudden and it was very random and it was like so quick just out of the blue weird <laughs> circumstances so and this all happened after a certain thing I'll probably do a separate video on my stories it's very long and I can't fit it all in but this sign is definitely a surefire thing that they all that basically you'll be surrounded by death <laughs> as morbid as it sounds and um, this can even include plants this can even include uh, food going off in your fridge like unusually quick so you may buy some fruit or whatever and you'll find like dead um, things in it like you'll see a lot of dead things um, I saw one day I woke up and I went downstairs and right outside my front door was a dead black bird, randomly right there. So I had another bird um, fly into the window of my house and it broke its neck and died. Uh, we accidentally killed a squirrel and like it would just be like so many <laughs> things like that, like you accidentally killing things or you seeing things die around you and also your close loved ones dying around you um so also insects seeing a lot of like insects around you is normally a thing as well um like one day i was drinking a morning uh, <laughs> lemon water and accidentally it was, it was very weird there was two massive dead beetles inside the drink and we have no idea how they got in there um and one actually went into my mouth horrible story i spat it out freaked out once i realized what it was and these beetles i've never seen them before in my life like i live in england we don't have many you know exotic things um insects but these beetles were really unusual looking i don't even know what they were and there was two of them in my drink very bizarre but it's just weird little things like that that you just can't explain will manifest in your life. And that is a really, really surefire thing to, uh, <laughs> surefire sign of um, that you definitely have a heavy sort of hex or curse on you. There's a lot of death being surrounded by it and seeing it and experiencing it. So moving on, number three is, it kind of links to what I've already said, but that will be sudden illness on you. So it will be um, you, and of course, despite you having a sort of general good health, and obviously you look after yourself, so you're not, you know, a heavy smoker or drinker or anything to, you know, cause illness, basically. You know, you genuinely look after yourself. Um, if you just get suddenly again hit very hard, very randomly with multiple um, illnesses all at once, um, then that is a surefire sign. And these will be kind of strange ones that you can't even explain or you don't know how they manifested as well. 
because remember energy <laughs> is everywhere so a curse and a hex is basically just negative energy like very strong external negative energy that's being fired straight at your auric body um, to manipulate and change the energy around you so this will massively impact your physical body so your organs get affected by energy. They can get affected by your emotions and they can get affected by outside emotions, especially if you're an empath, it's like tenfold. So with energy like this, it will, the most common sort of symptoms and the ones that I had was severe acne, um, really bad gut issues, anemia, extreme fatigue, and I mean extreme fatigue, deficiencies, um, so it's basically stopping you being nourished with the deficiencies and it's the same with the gut again I had and I'm still healing her from a gut condition called SIBO and that basically was blocking all the nutrients um, that I was eating from being absorbed into my body so it was slowly making me become malnourished starving me from basically light from energy that I needed to protect myself um, when it comes to skin, all skin issues are, res are a result of a damaged liver, okay, of a stressed out, over toxic, um, tired liver, okay. So with the liver, the liver is massively affected by anger, by rage. So of course with black magic, someone who is very angry and hates you has sent that energy to you and that really will affect your liver a lot. Um, so of course this will present itself in rashes, spots, acne, any sort of like skin condition um, is a huge sign. And of course this can be caused from other things. This is why it's important to watch the whole video and if you have all the signs then yeah, <laughs> you need to do something. And um, with anemia, anemia is obviously linked to the blood. You're not getting enough oxygen. So again, it's starving you from oxygen. You can't breathe. And oxygen is so important. And my anemia got so bad that my nails were going all bent. They were growing all crooked and bent. And they still were slightly bent, but they've got a lot better since. And even though I was eating loads of iron, I was eating loads of iron-rich foods, and I'd never had a problem with it before, ever in my life. Um, it was basically really, really bad. And the same with um, a few other things I had as well. Also tinnitus, I got random tinnitus in just one side of my head. Um, so I was always just being tormented by a really loud buzz and ring. So that's another sign. It's like, it doesn't let you sleep. It doesn't let you um, relax. And that was a really horrid thing I had to deal with for a whole year straight. Um, so it's them sort of things and sort of like attacks because obviously it will make you really weak because your body and your mind and your spirit, each free element is so important. If one falls, then the other two will fall. And it's basically a way to just make you weaker and weaker and weaker. So if your body is suffering, then your whole frequency will drop a lot. So then your spirit will drop. So then your defenses are massively lowered. Um, and then that will go into other things, <laughs> which is my next um, sign. So number four is mental breakdowns, okay? So obviously when you're already going through all this trauma, all this pain, all this um, fatigue from your body, uh, suffering, etc., mental illness and mental breakdowns are definitely a sure <laughs> sign that will follow. So this will be um, number one thing is depression, of course. So if you have extreme onset, like a strong onset of depression, um, especially if you've already like dealt with it or never had it in your life before, and then it just comes back like really, really, really strong, um, that's definitely a sign. But it's not just depression, it's like really heavy depression. It's almost like you feel like you've been bound by a ribbon, by barbed wire, <laughs> and you can't do anything because like you're stuck all the time. And then this is accompanied by, of course, extreme fatigue. You'll feel like a zombie. You'll just have no motivation, no will to live. You'll become suicidal. Just everything will be so heavy. Like you just constantly have a black cloud over you, constantly. Um, 
and this will lead into you feeling extremely ungrounded. So you'll have extreme dissociation. You will, you might even start hallucinating in severe black magic. You may even start um, just your mind will be so messy. You, it'll be chaos, and at the same time you'll be drained and numb. And like, it's just hell. All I can say is it's a taste of hell. <laughs> That's what it is. Like you think you've experienced depression, but this sort of thing is so dark. It's just extreme. So I, I can't even explain it into sort of words. Um, but again, it will be a sudden onset of it and nothing will really trigger it. Nothing, um, it just comes out the blue. So you're just, feeling very lost, very confused. You lose passion for everything that you used to once enjoy. That's another thing. So if you once used to really enjoy um, singing or dancing or being creative or even a um, loss of sex drive, even like sex, um, anything, anything that used to bring you joy, you will just be not interested. You're just like a walking black cloud no joy, no positive energy, it's just nothing. You're almost like a robot, but just programmed to feel just numbness and pure despair. It's really, really dark and brutal is all I can say. Now, the fifth sign will be relationship issues. So number five will be relationship issues. Um, you may find people start treating you differently. You'll be isolated, you'll be abused, you'll be attacked. And this can be especially from loved ones, from family, from friends. You might start being ghosted by people who you were once really close to. You may, um, especially in personal relationships, so your boyfriend or partner or husband, etc., they may just start being really distant with you, treating you really, really differently, like just being very negative and cold towards you and almost cruel. Um, because this negative energy, remember, it's like it has a radius around you. So anyone who is close to you will also be affected by it, okay? It's really important to note. So it's really important to try and like not blame them as hard as it will be in certain you know circumstances because it's almost like, yeah, it's having an effect on them as well. And it depends on the curse, it depends on the hex, because some people in black magic actually know a witch who does this, which I completely disagree with because it's just so cruel. Um, they deliberately break up couples, they deliberately break up marriages, they so they solely do that as um, black magic. So if you once had a really strong relationship or, you know, just a good relationship with your partner, then just suddenly they start acting really different or really cold or like whatever, or they just cheat on you or, you know, something really bad happens um, and it doesn't really have a catalyst, then that's definitely a sign. Um, but again, this will be accompanied by all the other signs. Really important to remember because so many things can, of course, cause breakups, etc. But again, it will be weird. So when... <laughs> With a curse, everything is weird, okay? So you will feel like you're living in a fucking twilight zone, okay? You will feel like, what the hell am I in? It will feel like a nightmare. It will literally feel like a dream. It will feel really strange. The energy will be just weird. And you'll never would have felt it before. It will literally feel like a nightmare. You're, like you're in a different parallel reality because you kind of are in a way. Your consciousness has been drawn into like a dark, lower realm. <laughs> That's what's happened. Um, so it will affect everyone and everything around you, even animals, like you may get randomly bitten or um, attacked by something, your pets might turn on you, like it's, it can be so vast, there's so many things that could happen, but that's the basic um, theme of relationships, your relationships will start to suffer and can turn a bit dark. Um, so number six. The sixth sign is financial problems. So financial problems, again, a very common curse and hex that people do is to stop people prospering, stop their abundance, they will block um, their ability to make loads of money out of jealousy a lot of the time. Um, so if you find that you've had a very successful business and then obviously I'm not talk, talking about this, you know, current situation that's going on because obviously that's had a huge negative impact on the economy. Um, but taking that out of the picture, if you've had, you know, a very good business 
and it's been you know fine for many years etc suddenly you start losing loads of clients you start getting really bad reviews and you've not done anything to cause it of course um, again it has this kind of weird just random negative energy that's come out of nowhere um, that can also be a sign many people end up closing their businesses or they'll have their business shut down completely um, again out of like strange sort of circumstances um, but a huge sign is normally theft so again this happened to me <laughs> three times you may get money but then you have people sort of uh, steal it from you or from your family if you if if it has any link to you like a really horrible thing that happened to uh, my family was my nan and granddad they um got seduced by a random stranger um and they gave away all their money to this woman and they got away with it and this woman stole thousands it was all of their savings and of course that money would have gone to my mom and then would have been shared with myself and you know my sister etc my cousin so it was like their legacy and it just got completely stripped away to block it coming to us um this is more like a, a generational curse and um which is what my family have been afflicted with but of course i'll do a different uh, thing on that but um it will be like again really severe blockages random bad luck but all to do with your finances you may lose loads of money and you don't know how you'll be scammed you'll be conned you'll just be downright mugged uh, money stolen from you um and again it's just a consistent bad luck and just your financial <laughs> thing so again you must have discernment to kind of see if it is because sometimes just your own karma can cause this but if it's like something's not caused it of you know from your part um and it's completely um the only way i can explain it is it just has a really severe dark energy accompanied of it and this is why you have to notice all the signs um and you'll feel it in your gut like so many new ages downplay people who believe in curses and hexes like i didn't even believe in them for a long time like when i was happy and my life was all normal um but then when i actually went through it and endured it i was like oh my god like this is all true and then that's what led me to research more about black magic occultism um, Dion Fortune has an incredible book called Psychic Self Defense. So please read that if you result, if you um, sorry, if you resonate with any of these signs. Um, and of course, the last sign, the seventh sign. <laughs> sorry about my demented hand. There you go. <laughs> the seventh sign um, is paranormal experiences. So especially at night time, if you wake up at the witching hour at like 3 a.m okay all the time and you are suffering from nightmares you are um, getting attacked by things astrally so you're actually having spirits attacking you and this includes sleep paralysis this includes dream hackers which i made a video about um this includes spirits basically because when you're asleep a lot of the time you're actually traveling and you don't even realize you're doing it and you're way more open especially if you are not fairly especially if you are not fully trained in um opening your third eye which means you can then easily be lucid in dreams your self-defense is massively off <laughs> during dream time so you are a much easier target um to inflict attacks etc on when you're sleeping so if you are having really bad nightmares insomnia um and even out of dream time if you're experiencing really strange things or you suddenly feel like you're being watched you suddenly feel um, there's a dark presence in your house you notice your maybe you have dogs or cats and they start growling or watching things always pay attention to your animals because they can see them if there's an entity or spirit or demon or whatever in your home um, that's bad your animals will always see them um, many times with all different dog breeds i've always had them um, notice spirits and they'll normally just you know growl at them and their shackles will go up and or they'll be scared they will just suddenly are actually anxious and nervous 
or really unsettled. Same with cats. So any sort of weird paranormal activity, if you have things going randomly missing, <laughs> if you um, just have any sort of strange dark energies, if you suddenly feel scared and you don't know why, then that's a sure fire sign as well. If you are normally like, you know, fine and you don't even, you're even skeptical and you suddenly start hearing things in the night, bangs or whispers or anything that's kind of creepy, um, then that's a sign, especially during the hours between 2 and 4 a.m., but especially 3 a.m., because 3 a.m. is the witching hour. And basically what that means is the veil between our dimension and the astral dimensions, but especially the lower astral dimensions, is at its thinnest. And that's why with me, I can really feel the difference. I hate waking up between them hours because I can feel um, so many entities and it's just really eerie, it's a really eerie sort of time to be awake if you're very sensitive to these sort of things. And um, so if you keep re reoccurringly waking up at that time and you don't normally do that, then that's definitely a, a time, <laughs> a sign, especially 3 a.m. Um, so it's really important, like I said, with all of these signs, if you do resonate with all these signs, I will be making a part two to this video to go deeper into um, a very powerful spell to break curses and hexes. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now as it will be too long. But one thing I will give you is a more a simple spell. It's, um, it's kind of like a mantra slash spell. And if you, and it really works, trust me, it works. So every day you must say, I send back all negative energy, curses, hexes, and evil eye that has been inflicted on me to its sender times three, so mote it be. So say this mantra every day three times. And the first time I've done this, I kid you not, I felt a huge lift of energy. And if you do suspect anyone in your close circle, your family or friends or whatever, who may have done something on you, you need to cut ties with them ASAP. I know this can be difficult if you live with them, um, but even if you do live with them, just keep distant and protect your, it might sound weird, protect your DNA at all costs. So do not leave any hair in the bathroom. If you're a woman, do not leave um, your tampons or used pads. You know, your used tampons or pads, anything that will have like blood, you know, your blood in it. Um, always throw it in the trash, you know, like out of the house or whatever, hide it. <laughs> um, because these things are the most powerful ingredients to do a hex on you. All they need is a strand of your hair. All they need is your blood. Your, your moon blood is even more so like powerful so even with men as gross as it sounds if you've used any uh, condoms like used condoms and you know any semen tissues laying around flush it down the toilet if it's a condom get it out of the house you know just make sure it can't be found in like a little you know bin in the bathroom so because these are powerful powerful tools um and it'll be really difficult to break the spell if they have gotten their hands on your DNA um, and used it in spell work. So with curses, it's not just a case of if you don't believe in them, they don't, you know, they won't inflict you. That's BS, that's new age fluff bullshit. I'm sorry to burst the bubble. These people who say that, they've never adored it themselves and they clearly do not understand how occultism works. They don't understand how energy works and they don't understand basic witchcraft um this has been going on for centuries people humans have always done this um, look at just the egyptian tombs there's been so many cases of skeptical people skeptical scientists opening up cursed tombs and disturbing things you know ancient egyptian stuff and then they end up dying like a whole group dying of horrible deaths because they had an ancient curse on them protecting the tomb so it's important to know, but don't fear it, okay? So if you do have these signs and you do suspect that you may be cursed, you must work on raising your frequency. And I know it's so, so, so hard, trust me. It 
is awful, it breaks you, but you must, must be strong. You must do everything you can to do to strengthen your body. You'll have to work 10 times harder. Seek help as much as possible. Do the mantra every single day, protect yourself. Um, also wearing a, an amulet, the evil eye amulet, protection amulet. I'll put a picture of what that looks like up here, it can help. Um, use tourmaline, black tourmaline, black obsidian. I used to always wear a black tourmaline pendant and that helps a lot. If you can get your hands on it, jade crystal is very, very good um, to use as well because that alchemizes negative energy into positive energy. And that's basically what you must do with all your strength is to try and alchemize all the negative energy that has been sent to you to positive energy. Um, and of course, in the next video, I will show a spell of how to break more severe ones, more severe hexes, etc. So <laughs> I really, really hope that these signs don't resonate with you. Um, and if you want extra help in gaining more clairvoyancy and a heightened intuition, because it is so important to have a high intuition when trying to discern if you have been hexed or you know you want the truth basically you must have a clear third eye it's so important i can't stress that enough so if you really need help with that check out my free ebook that i created completely for free which tells you how to detox your third eye and um, i've used these methods myself and they work like a charm so i'll put the link in the description box below and much love to you check out my website thegoddesscoven.net and i also offer art services so do feel free to check that out as well much love much light to you and i wish you all the luck Hymns up.